Ramsey in pole position for the first time this season. The Dutch TT, we're in Assen and we are underway. It was a great start from pole position by Valentino Rossi, just what the Italian wanted, but Rossi got the start he wanted. What a start by Valentino Rossi from pole position. Ram turned three and four, coming up towards the Struben. We all thought Rossi was He's having a look at the inside. I thought he was going then, he decided not to. But he lined him up, doesn't he? Three laps to go. Mark Marquez leading from Valentino Rossi. It's been one of the great battles between the two of them since Marquez came to the Premier Class in 2013. In a very lonely third place. It's all about these two men, though. Marquez and Rossi. Paul Espargaro now has got to the front of this group. Crutchlow's dropped back two places. Well, there was a mistake on that lap by Cal Crutchlow, but he's back in seventh place. Rossi right on the back wheel again of Mark Marquez. Down through the beam slang they come. Three, but two and a half laps to go. Rossi is close through here as we see just a little wobble from the front end of the Yamaha. But they're safely through the rush going off down towards Steckenval. Mark Marquez, we know he's great riding under intense pressure, trying to drag himself out of the doldrums. Back-to-back -back crashes in Mugello and Barcelona have really put a massive hole in his bid to win a third straight. Well, Tom, here comes Rossi on the inside. Valentino Rossi has gone up the inside of Mark Marquez to take the lead back. Marquez responds immediately. This is up at turn 11. Rossi still holds the lead. The crowd going wild here in Assen. 97,000 people are on their feet. MotoGP at its very best. The 36-year-old Italian leads the way again, but don't think that is last. Going to last. He's being lined up by Marcus. Rossi breaks as late as he can. Everybody in the grandstand opposite us is on their feet. Two laps to go. Rossi leads the way. Two laps to go. It's Valentino Rossi by almost three tenths of a second from Mark Marquez. Rossi trying to win for the third time. He's already putting a bit of a gap between himself and Mark Marquez as Rossi got his tactics absolutely bang on. This is down into the double left hander. Rossi got really close to Marquez now and on the breaking zone to Mandeveen. Up the inside goes Valentino Rossi. Marquez tries to fight back. That's what the crowd here thought of it. 97,000 fans and Rossi has put, what, half a second now between himself and Mark Marquez. Valentino Rossi aiming for an eighth victory here in Assen. Rossi through the bean slag, down towards the Ruskinot, now down towards Steckenval. This is where he was lining up Marquez when they came into the bolt corner. Marquez fought back, he actually got back in front, I think, but Rossi just rode round the outside of him and would not give way. One and a half laps to go. Absolutely classic racing at this legendary venue. We've seen some great races here in the last 85 years. This is as good as any of them. But you know, I reckon Rossi might have broken Marquez. Here's the old maestro calling the tune yet again. Valentino Rossi. Alex DeAndres has crashed out further down the field. Here is Rossi. Clear daylight between himself and Mark Marquez. We're coming down into the final chicane on the penultimate lap. You can hear the crowd going absolutely wild in the back. Ground. Rossi about to start the final lap. The gap between Rossi and Marquez as they cross the line. Almost half a second. Rossi just at his personal best lap of the race. He's got the hammer down here in Holland. But he won't make the headlines this time round. Classic duel at the front. And Rossi is getting away. 36 years old. Nine times world champion. Chasing his ninth victory here at Assen. You've never seen him ride better than he's ridden this afternoon. And this has got to be the first time that Valentino Rossi's really got the better of Mark Marquez in a straight shootout for the win. Marquez, he's not giving up without a fight, though we know he's a real warrior. Is the Repsol Honda rider. He's closed the gap right up now on Valentino Rossi's back down to just under three tenths of a second. Down into the bolt. Marquez, really, really close now. Rossi under real pressure. This is going to be all about the final chicane. It certainly is, just when we thought it was over. He's not a double MotoGP World Championship for, champion for nothing. Marquez now closes up on Rossi. Rossi is particularly so quick. 
through these corners, up through the high go to this vital Rumshot left-hander. Rossi still leads the way. Has Marquez got anything left? He is going to come late as they come into the chicane. There's going to be a launch. There'll be a launch for Marquez. He's up the inside of Rossi. Oh, Rossi just holds for Rossi's through the ground. Oh, Rossi's going to win the race. Valentino Rossi wins the Dutch TT. What a dramatic finale. Marquez second. Rossi is the winner. Let's have a look at this again. Marquez coming up the inside. Rossi doesn't want to let him through. His nose is coming. He pulls across. Rossi runs across the gravel. Marquez is forced wide. Rossi crosses the line in first place. You knew Mark Marquez was going to have a lunge up the inside. He started this last lap half a second behind Valentino Rossi. You could just see there Marquez was up the inside. Valentino Rossi through the gravel. This is going to be a great on board. Wow, that was close. There's Rossi through the gravel. He's now having a look over his shoulder. Performances like we've just seen in 26 unforgettable laps here at the Dutch TT in Aston. Well, it's the last Saturday race of this historic event, and it's one we'll never, ever forget. Dead right. That's <laughs> what the team think. When it's all about one man, you can produce great motorcycles, you can have great crew chiefs, you can have great mechanics, and of course they're important, but sometimes somebody in the saddle has to pull something special out. But at the top step of the podium for the ninth time here in Assen, Valentino Rossi. What a race, what a result also for Yamaha. Yep, six successive victory for Yamaha, the seventh win in eight races in 2015. A shake of the hand with Lynn Jarvis and Mark Marquez there. He's 36 years old, he's increased his lead in the World Championship to 10 points. There is only one, Valentino Rossi.